welcome to Virology Research Services, where we decode science and provide innovative solutions. Today, we will explore an innovative technique known as the Air Liquid Interface Cell Culture Model, a sophisticated approach used in cell biology and tissue engineering. Traditionally, cell culture involved growing a layer of cells in a plastic dish. But this method had its limitations, especially when it came to simulating complex organs like the lungs. Air-liquid interface culture changes the game by allowing cells to grow in a more natural, three-dimensional environment. In this culture, cells are grown on a membrane that's exposed to air on one side and nutrient-rich media on the other. The process starts with a source of cells, which could be from a lung biopsy or commercially available. We use primary human bronchial epithelial cells that are preserved frozen in liquid nitrogen to ensure their viability and integrity until they are ready to be used in our experiments. These cells are first expanded on a collagen-coated vessel. This initial stage is crucial for removing any unwanted cells and ensuring that only the desired basal cells adhere to the surface. After about a week, these cells cover the surface and are ready for the next phase. An enzyme gently detaches them and they're moved to a larger vessel where they continue to grow. Once these cells reach confluence, meaning they completely cover the surface of their growth vessel, they are transferred to a transwell system. A transwell is a specialized device used in cell culture that consists of a small, porous insert that fits into a larger well of a culture plate. This setup is key to creating an environment that mimics the human lung more closely. Cells are seeded onto the permeable membrane of a cell culture insert, which is initially supplied with culture medium to both the apical and basal compartments. When the submerged cells have become confluent and tightly packed, the cell culture media is removed from the apical chamber and never replaced. This becomes the air-liquid interface. In the basal compartment, differentiation media replaces culture media, prompting basal cells to transform into multiple specialized cell types, including goblet and ciliated cells. This configuration mimics the conditions found in the human airway and drives differentiation towards a mucociliary phenotype. Over time, cells elongate into columnar shapes with goblet cells producing mucus and cilia developing and eventually beating. This process creates a multicellular layer resembling respiratory tissue complexity. At around two or three weeks after mucus appears, cilia are noted. As you can see in these electron microscopy images, the beauty of the cellular structures becomes evident. Once cilia are first seen, the cells are expected to be ready approximately two or three weeks later. These cells can then be used for in vitro studies, generating richer data than is possible with simple monolayer experiments. This type of cultures offer a unique advantage in studying viral infections, allowing researchers to observe and analyze the entire infection process, from viral entry to replication and immune response in a controlled and biologically relevant environment. We'll explore viral infection dynamics within air-liquid interface cultures in one of our upcoming videos. If you're involved in respiratory research, ALI culture is a breakthrough worth your attention. For more details, visit our website and reach out to our team.